Hello all, in today's video, we will study about median. We will cover median for individual series, median for discrete series and median for continuous series. So first let us let us see what is the median. Median of a distribution is the value of the variable which divides it into two equal parts. That means you will, fee, you will see that 50% of the values will lie below the median and 50% of the values will lie above the median. That is why median is also called as the positional average. Before we see uh, median for individual series, discrete series and continuous series, let us first see what is the meaning of individual series, discrete series and continuous series. So coming first to individual series, remember individual series will have only one column and that is of the observations. This is because every observation will have only one frequency. Okay, But in case of discrete series, you will have two columns. One will be of the variable or the items and one will be about of its frequency. It will give like a particular value how many times it is occurring. That is it will give the frequency of that particular variable. Okay. And in case of continuous series, it will also be like discrete series that is it will be made up of two columns. The first column instead of having the variable, it will con consist of the class. The values are in the form of groups. Okay. And the second column will be about its frequency. Okay. This is the difference between individual series, discrete series and continuous series. If you want to uh, know more about it, you can pause this video and just go, uh, go and read the uh, table that I have made. You will be, uh, it will be very clear to you what is the difference between each of the series. But basically, individual series will consist of only one column consisting of the observation. Discrete series will consist of two columns. One column will give you the variables and the second column will give you the frequency. And in case of continuous series, it will also be consisting of two columns. One column will give you the values in the form of groups or class and the second column will give you the frequency. Now let us see how do we calculate median for individual series. Now uh, in case of individual series, either the number of data points will be even or it will be odd. So let us see how do we calculate median in case if the number of data points is even. Students always remember that since median is a positional average, you require to arrange it in an ascending or descending order first. That is the most important step. Don't forget this in the exam. Okay. So now let us see uh, in case of uh, even number of data points, first thing you will do is arrange the data in ascending or descending order. Uh, then you will use the formula median is equal to sine of n by 2 plus sine of n by 2 plus 1 item divided by 2. This is not n by 2 plus n by 2 plus 1 and divided by it is the size of n by 2 value and size of n by 2 plus 1 value. Okay, Remember that. And in case of if the number of data points is odd, we calculate the median, median by using the formula size of n plus 1 upon 2 by item. Okay. Now let us see this with the help of an example. So here you will see a, a column consisting of the marks obtained by students. So now first is we will arrange the data in ascending or descending order. I will mostly use ascending because that is a common norm. We will arrange all the data in the ascending order. So the in case of ascending order, it will come as 30, 35, 40 and again 40. So here the number of items n is equal to 4. So median will be size of 4 by 2 item and size of 4 by 2 plus 1th item. Okay. So it will be size of second and size of third item divided by 2. So second item is 35 and third item is 40. So it is 35 plus 40 divided by 2 that is 37.5. So median is 37.5 marks. Okay, I hope it is clear and always remember that uh, in case of even number of observation, in fact any value lying between two middle values can be taken as median but conventionally we take it to be the mean of the middle terms. Okay. Now coming for the odd data points, again we will arrange the data in ascending order. So we will uh, after uh, uh, arranging the data, we will get the uh, data in ascending order as 30, 35, 40, 40 and 45. So here n is equal to 5. So median will be size of 5 plus 1 upon 2 item that is size of the third item. Size of the third item is 40. So the median will be 40 marks. Okay. So that is how you calculate median for individual series. So now let us see how do we calculate median for discrete series. Okay. First step is com common. Arrange the frequency distribution in ascending or descending order. We will be uh, arranging it in ascending order. Denote the variable oblique item as x and frequency as f. Calculate the cumulative frequency that I will show you show it to you when we uh, discuss an example. Then 
find 1 by 2 n where n is the summation of all the frequencies okay uh, there n was the number of items here in case of discrete series n is equal to summation of frequency okay next step is see the cumulative frequency just greater than 1 by 2 n okay and the corresponding value of x is the median now let us see this by taking an example okay this is the uh, discrete series so the first step is arrange the frequency distribution in ascending or descending order so we will uh, arrange it in the ascending order now i have arranged it now next is we denote the variable oblique items as x and frequency as f that i have already done the next step will be calculate the cumulative frequency okay how do we calculate the cumulative frequency so the first frequency will remain the same the second frequency will be 15 plus 10 that is equal to 24 okay and so the remaining cumulative frequency also will uh, find out in a similar manner so that is the uh, remaining cumulative frequencies now we will calculate 1 by 2 n where n is equal to summation of all the frequencies so when we take a summation of all the frequencies we get the value of n as 88 so half of n will be half of 88 that is 44 so next step will be see the cumulative frequency just greater than 1 by 2 n that means just greater than 44 so you see that the less than is 38 and the just greater than 44 cumulative frequency is 67 okay so now we will take the corresponding value of x for corresponding to cumulative frequency of 67 so the corresponding value of x is 40 so that means our median is 40 this is how we calculate median for discrete series i hope the concept is clear now let us go to calculating median for continuous series so students remember that in case of continuous series also the first uh, five steps will remain the same okay only the last step that is the formula will change so uh, let us uh, see so uh, uh, what, what will be the what will the change will be is now in the previous case we were taking the corresponding value of uh, the corresponding value of the variable as the value of median but since here instead of the variable you are going to have a class so we will consider the corresponding class as the median class which i have written in step number six okay remember first five steps will be same that as that of the discrete series only the sixth step will change that is the corresponding class is called a median class and once you get the class the median is calculated by using the formula uh, median is equal to l plus h upon f multiplied by bracket inside the bracket n by 2 minus c minus c so now what are these values l is the lower limit of the median class f is the frequency of the median class h is the magnitude of the median class and c is the cumulative frequency of the class preci preceding the median class remember it is the class preceding the median class please in the exam don't take the cumulative frequency of the same class it is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class okay now let us take an example okay now again i have taken a uh, continuous series the first step is arrange the frequency distribution in ascending order so that now we have arranged it in the ascending order now we will denote the variable items as x and frequency as f the same what we did in discrete series next is we will calculate the cumulative frequency same like what we did before next is we will find out 1 by 2 n where n is the summation of all the frequencies so n is 88 so 1 by 2 n is 44 now comes the difference now what we are going to do is we are going to find the cumulative frequency just greater than 44 that is 67 as we got it before and now we will see the corresponding class okay so there it was the corresponding variable now here it will be the corresponding class which is called as the median class so the corresponding class will be 50 to 60 this is the median class now let us calculate the median by using the formula so the formula is median is equal to l plus h upon f multiply by inside the bracket n by 2 minus c okay so now let us implement this formula and see what is the answer that we will get so now let us calculate the median so in the present case the l is the lower limit of the median class which is 50 f is the frequency of the middle class which is 29 h is the magnitude of the median class that is 60 minus that is the upper limit minus the lower limit that is 60 minus 50 which is equal to 10 and finally c is the cumulative of frequency of the class preceding the median class so the class so the cumulative frequency preceding the previous uh, pre preceding the median class is 38 
remember this don't do this mistake in the exam okay cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class okay now let us substitute all the values in the formula and so the value of median that we get is 52.0689 that is how we calculate median for continuous series students i hope all the three series are clear to you and uh, the steps for calculating the median are also clear uh, that's all for today in the next class we will see merits and demerits of median thank you